Victory at sea, Atlantic. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words of the words of the developer. Victory at Sea Atlantic transports you to the cold, unforgiving waters of the Atlantic theatre in World War II. With a vast array of ships, planes and subs, engage in epic sea battles and secure your place in history. Victory at Sea Atlantic is the ultimate naval warfare experience. This is the sequel to Victory at Sea Pacific, I think it was called. Uh, this is early access. It's 30 quid. Um, you can get it on Green Man Gaming, 10% off. Link in the description. And it, it, like I said, it's in early access, this. So it's just kind of come out. Now, it doesn't have a manual, uh, but it does have extensive videos on a, a video tutorial on all aspects of the game, which is acceptable. Uh, I mean, pretty much I was able to learn the game purely off these videos. It's not massively complicated, um, but there's a lot going on. You manage a lot of stuff uh, in this game. It's not just about the ships. You manage the air. You manage the infrastructure of your, com your country, you know, the, the uh, convoys. You build factories, manage intelligence, build airstrips, build planes, defend your coastline, research stuff like radar, things like that. There's a lot of stuff to do in this game. Uh, it's a full-time job being Prime Minister. Now, if you want, you can play every single engagement you have with the Bosch. They're not the Bosch, Mac. These are the sailors, the Navy, the... the the Schnells at sea, the Schnells at sea, guys. Uh, you can engage the Schnell uh, in and play the actual battles yourself. You can control every ship, tell them which targets to fire at. You can you can turn them. You can use an RTS command system for it. You can take command of the ship. Do whatever you want, or you can auto resolve it, or you can just click evade and try and run like um, a certain other country that I, I can't remember the name of them. The game plays at a absolute snail's pace. It's, it's, a, it's not just a snail's pace. It is a snail with asthma. That's how slow this game goes. But thankfully, you can turn up the game speed to 100 times normal. And you do need to do that quite often. Because, you know, you, you, you're talking about a huge scope of things. You've got your convoys coming right across the Atlantic. And they don't go across the Atlantic in a few hours. It takes a long time to get a, a cargo ship all the way from America through to uh, the UK. So you have to monitor all the ships coming across there. Uh, they will have a tiny escort with them, but it isn't going to be enough. Uh, the, 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 the Schnells will, if they can, get their wolf packs down on them and they will sink your precious, precious convoys. Your convoys give you the materials to create new ships new planes and new infrastructure and feed your population. You have at the top of the screen the different resources, food, materials and things that you need and personnel to fight a war. So it's in your interest that these convoys get through. Now you can, like I said earlier, you've got to manage your whole country's infrastructure. You build farms, you build factories, build airfields, research places, intelligence centers, all of this stuff you build. But they take ages to build. It's not just like an RTS, like Command and Conquer, where you press, oh, I'll have a factory, and then two minutes later it's there. These take ages, hours to build in-game, hours. You can't just blast it through at 100%. Uh, it's sort of a hundred times uh, game speed all the time either because there's things that you have to manage. So it is a very slow paced game this. You group your ships and your submarines into little fleets. You can break the fleets up. You can merge fleets. It's really, really good. And you can send them out on patrol, uh, setting waypoints for where you want them to, to have a go at. You can tell them to defend certain uh, ships, certain convoys, and they will all do all of that. It's really, really good. You've got aircraft that take off uh, from ships. You've got spotter planes out there looking for submarines and German battleships, or any German ships for that matter. You've got the Germans doing exactly the same to you. You've got intelligence agents working to cripple ships abroad and in other countries that have gone in, but they're doing the same to you. So you have to have counterintelligence. It's quite a deep little game, this. Unfortunately, the combat, I don't really enjoy it. Um, it, it some of the times it doesn't really make sense. Uh, the enemy react in ways that are quite bizarre. Sometimes they just whack you from, you can't even see them uh, off the map and... It, it it just all feels messy, especially when it comes to, to anti-submarine warfare, the torpedoes. Um, it's not something that I really ha I'm enjoy enjoying. I mean, what I do tend to do a lot is auto-resolve. And even some of the auto-resolve decisions are a bit stupid. So it's, it's an area that I think the developers really need to work hard on. 
the actual combat, uh, uh, just balancing the game. I mean, it is early access. It's early, early access as well. So that is going to be something that's going to be looked at. But for me, I'd rather play the game without the, the, the combat as it stands at the moment and just auto-resolve uh, the, the battles. It just feels more realistic doing that, even though uh, I'm missing out on a big part of the game going into the arcade action and, and actually fighting the battles that way. But when, when you see some of the RNG in that and that and some of the stupid shots that the enemy can pull off, it doesn't feel right to me. It just feels a little bit off. Uh, so I kind of auto-resolve everything. Uh, I do enjoy the strategy map. I enjoy the whole aspect of the game in, in playing it in the sense that you have to build everything, launch the aircraft. I would like I would like some order. A lot, there's lots of quality of life things that I would like. I mean, why aren't the, the planes just taking off themselves and patrolling around near where the airfields are? Why do you have to micro everything? Uh, it just doesn't make sense, really. I mean, I had a whole airfield... Uh, with uh, I had um, a spotter on there and I had some fighters and there was an enemy plane just flew over it and they did nothing. No one took off and, and intercepted. You, you have to literally do everything. Uh, and I think, you know, you could put some quality of life stuff in there to, to make it a little bit better. So it has potential. Um, it is fun, but it's £30 entry. That's with a 10% off. I think that's just way too high way too high for the state that the game's in now uh, just releasing into early access i would have expected half of that price to be honest and then as the game nears the end of development and gets tidied up and tightened uh, and all the features there then absolutely bring it up to, to this kind of price so unfortunately i'm going to give this a middle thumb has potential but there's still a lot wrong with it at the minute